Okay, here's the advice. A lot of times people want to look at the wing and that slows you down. It's super important with a Ford that you have a consistent speed. If you're slowing down and speeding up and slowing down and speeding up, you're giving the wing more wind and then taking it and then giving it and taking it. And the wing doesn't know what you want. So you want to accelerate linear, linearly, can't even say that word, and consistently continue to run. Now, I also don't love when people look at the wing. I want you to as we go on, but right now I don't want you to. So instead, I want you to pick a house in that neighborhood. Okay. I want you to stare at it, mm -hmm. and I want you just to run at that house. Okay. And do not look at the wing. You will be surprised that you will feel what's feel going on, and your hands okay. will make the corrections without you even noticing. Okay. okay. Just look at the house and run forward, okay? okay. Let's do it. So see, what, what we learned from that is that a lot of the reasons that people blow launches is they mess themselves up by doing a lot of this. Pick a spot, run at it, your body will know what direction to make. It's just one of those things where you're overdoing it by looking at the wind. Okay, you're, you also go a little faster yeah, when you just better. pick a spot on the horizon. It felt better. Okay, yeah. let's do it again. So to know success in flying is always smooth. The better, the smoother you are, the better everything's gonna be. If you're jerky and irky and all over the place, it's just gonna be rough. If you're smooth, it will also be smooth. It'll also be right, and it'll also work better. Gotcha. So just work on being as smooth and calm as possible. Don't pump brakes. Okay. So when it's when you want to apply brake, it is apply and hold. Apply and hold. It is not this. Gotcha. Because what this does is it disrupts the wind in the wing. It's like suck wind, suck wind, suck wind, suck wind. And then the wing's like, yo, 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 I'm trying to fly here. It's like either make a gentle correction and hold it or don't make the correction at all. Gotcha. Okay. Gotcha. Okay, so I want you to notice one thing. And I want you to listen to the best of this. Remember when I, the, the most important thing with setting your risers down is it sets you up for success or failure. Center of the wing. Okay, that one's great. But where's that one? Not great. Not great. <laughs> so see, by you want to set them down shoulder width apart in the center of the wing. That way you don't need to center yourself. If you set them down centered, you don't have to try. And now if you just don't move, you're centered. Right. You don't have to do all that looking, walking around stuff. Okay. You're never going to get it right if you try. Totally to different from what we learned. So So we're listening. We're going to try your way. Okay. So remember, if the wing falls behind you on inflation or even while you're running, it's too much brake, not enough speed. So your hands naturally, while forward, want to drop. It's just normal. You have to force yourself to keep those hands up and keep yourself moving. 